This mu- hey, wait, what's this? So, we have this new- this month in Dragalia loss. After Dragalia digests, um, they had to Mega Man, and now he's talking about the Mega Man event. The Mega Man event is scheduled to occur at the end of November. End of November, so yeah, December, winter, yeah, all that stuff. In it, you'll be able to add Mega Man to your team as a temporary adventurer. So, the friendship... The friendship adventure that you get for free is going to be a raid. <laughs> It is going to be Mega Man. You can increase your friendship with him and by clearing quests on him. If your friendship with him reaches a certain level, then he remains an ally even after event, the event ends. The way Mega Man moves and attacks is based on his own games? Huh. Yeah, his own games? Is this going to be like a monster that he's going to kill and then obtain their ability? Or what? Um, even the animations for when he takes damage is like, <clears throat> like static. <clears throat> And when it's HPV zero, our call back to the series and go pum 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 pum. Oh, well, you know, we'll see. We'll see what what happens. We have we have more to share about his skills and shape shifting capability in the future notices. But trust me, when I say they will be distinctly Mega Man. Wait, what? What's that? Does it mean he's gonna go Hyper Mega Man in his dragon form? He just turned to Hyper Mega Man and shoot missiles. It could be, we don't know. You join Mega Man and fighting against the Great Worms who have special behavior for this event. But why the Great Worms? Well, as soon as someone has come to the world of Dragalia, it's Dr. Wily. But we're not spilling the beans yet. Oh no. <laughs> you have to look forward to the event to find exactly who this is. You'll be able to get event specific items, worm prints, and weapons. There'll also be event specific music. Oh, I can't wait for the music though. Oh, look. Oh man, he looks cool. And so it's the end of November. Uh, now for some features we have planned implemented by the end of this year. New difficulty for Advanced Dragons is happening on the 10th, which is what, 10, 10, 10 days from now, I guess, for East Coast. Current difficulty will be considered standard. So this one will be moved to. St wait, what? The current difficulty will be moved to standard. So we're going to have two more levels above this one. We're going to have two more levels above this one in which the high dragons will have uh, harder, harder levels, harder patterns. The only difference, difference will be that an expert high dragon will have increased HP and strength. Okay, so an expert it will have just increased stats. However, the increased HP means that you may not be able to cover some of the bosses move by utilizing break timing. Okay, so the break timing is going to be a little different and stuff like that. Um, probably like cheesing and stuff like that is probably what they're meaning here. The element available for master difficulty will change each week. Okay. For the first, master difficulty ab available will be Hyper Hilda. So they're, they're rotating it. They're not releasing all the masters at once. So they're going to rotate it. Dragons behave differently in masters, so you have have to cook up some new strategies to deal with them. Got you didn't? Nice, congrats. You're able to craft new weapons using the new materials that will drop from Expert and Master. Yeah, they give us so much gifts. To craft these weapons, you have to first craft the certain other weapons. So you have to search in other weapons. So I guess you have to probably have to craft by three or something first. Or with the void weapons first, and then you can make these higher ones. First, you need to use insignia as other material to craft the elementally attuned five star. Okay, never mind. I spoke ahead. It was in the next the next paragraph. Second, you need to. Oh, you need both. <laughs> you need both of them, guys. You need both of the five star core weapon of that, and you need the void weapons of that, and then you can use those as materials to create these new weapon. There's no need to fully unbind these weapons though, so you just need the, the core 5-3. But crafting each weapon type will allow you to craft a new high dragon weapons. Oh, they look... So it's like Grand Blue Fantasy when you have... Yeah. <laughs> you don't have to un fully unbind it though, so that, that's fine. So like Grand Blue Fantasy, they have um, these weapons that are, that are another level in like their store thing. What, I forgot what they're called. But... I had the light gauntlet fist and stuff, and you can level that up even more. You, you need the lower level weapon to make the higher level weapon. Then you need like two different ones and combine them. But yeah, uh, time attack rankings also dropping on October tenth. 
And we'll be have, holding a time attack ranking for each element in the new Expert Advanced Dragon Trial. So expert only. Those who compete the time attack during the event will receive items based on the ranking. Oh god. We're gonna have a... We're gonna ha We'll see what items there's gonna be first. But the top player will also get a special... Okay, titles. Hopefully it's the, t the items aren't that great. And then it'll just be the title that they'll just get. That, you know, flex. It's just for flexing. Or stickers, I don't know. Um, the clear times and team composition for the top 25 teams will be made public. So whoever unable to participate will be able to un use the information for reference when building their teams in the future. We're restricting it to harder difficulty because this is the first ranking event. However, we consider a wider scope for the future event based on how things go this time. Six tier mana circle. We're expanding the opportunity for upgrading after unbinding the fist mana circle tier right now i can share that the following information okay all information is going to be whatever six tier will not be available for all ventures right off the bat i said we'll, they, they already mentioned it they're going to roll it out over time right and then we'll use you'll be able to use it to upgrade various parameters skills and abilities so it's like it's like taking that grand blue fantasy for the main character where you can put different things uh different parameters for different things but all the characters in this game, not just the main character. It seems like that's going to be. They're planning to implement it within this year. So before the end of this year, we're going to have this. Upgrade to main campaign. I hope everyone's looking forward to chapter 11. That the, that it's it's going to come on December or what? Two months from now. Yeah, okay. December. From this point, we'll be adding one new chapter every other month. For, so that's every every two months when we get a new chapter. If you don't see a new chapter, they'll add some kind of story segment to give you a different perspective of the main campaign. New bosses. We're developing a new series of bosses. So that's what they mentioned in the Dragali Digest. Uh, they appear before the end of the year. So we're going to have at least one of them appear before the end of the year. As is the, with the Advanced Dragon Trial, these bosses will have different tricks up their sleeves. I can't share too much details on it yet, but you have to focus on crafting new dragon weapons as you await their release. Oh my god, there's so much stuff. Okay, in the most recent Dragali Judge that we listed, a few features we're planning to add in the future. Now I'd like to provide some information on them. We're developing these features with the aim of releasing them one by, by the one and a half year anniversary. We're currently developing a feature that allows effects of facilities such as Strengthening your adventures and dragons take effect water stash as well. Okay, so stash as well. I think this will make a ranging facility in the castle ground a lot easier. Yeah, I don't like to, you know, put things in. Like, I want to stack them together and not have it to deal with all this. Having to put them together while having to... How do you say it? The spacing of these things is kind of weird, but... Change the appearance of weapons. So the trans box stuff, they're going to drop as well. There's a weapon design that you really like. You can put it on other one stuff, other stuff. The fact that weapon appearance have been altered will be indicated in co-op rooms. Automatically replay. So this is about the replay. Congrats on the Gala Prince and all the pulls, everyone. We'll add a feature that allows you to automatically challenge the selected quest until you run out of stamina. Okay, so that's nice. Feature particularly useful for collecting materials for onslaughts and dragon trials. Encyclopedia, temporary name. With development encyclopedia feature will allow you to get information on different stuff. Okay. Past, you can pay past event at any time you want. We plan to develop a feature that allows new players and those who are unable to participate in events in the past to play at any time. Okay, October events. All right. Summon showcase Cassandra and Daphne, who appear on the third, which is like two days, two three days from now. Delphine is a unique adventure compared to others we've seen up until now. Like Cassandra, his second skill is a counter skill, but it, can, but it can apply the poison affliction to enemies. Furthermore, the skill gauge for this skill charges over time. His quick daggers allowed to be sort of a hit and run fighting style. Yeah, okay. I don't plan to play dagger. Delphine? Oh, Delphine. Okay, got it. Thank you. Delphine. I remember hearing it in the story one time. Okay, so the event's happening. You can collect raid boosts. I mean, that's what's happening currently. And then Omega Raid is going to drop as well. Del... Del... B? Del Fi? Not Finn? Del Fi? 
Delphi. We're also adding new void enemies and a whole uh, catch up campaign, which will provide useful items just for playing different parts of the game. We're reviving the Halloween event. Coming back. Delphi? Okay. It's, it's a revival event, but rewards will be adjusted. Nightmare will be added and will also bump the whoa, facility level. At least it's not a rerun facility where you're going to have to only get the facility and then you're done. At least now they're going to increase the level. Okay. Additionally, the summit showcase will feature new adventurers, not just Halloween Ellie, right? And we'll share more information about these custom clad adventurers. Are we going to finally get Halloween Luca or something? They might have Alumi Ali there still, but I don't know. We'll see. Maybe. We'll see. In conclusion, we'll have a lot to talk about. Oh, these are the things they're talking about. Oh, the, so much extra loot. We'll be giving these to all the players. Oh my god, I'm not even going to look at this. There's so much stuff. This, this gift contains upgrading all the Shadow Attune stuff. Help you with the first annual event, blah, 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 blah. Going forward, we'll be post this month of Dragali Lost early each month. And include content that we'll share in what's ahead. So now you can look forward to getting information, information, information about future updates on a monthly basis. At least we'll get me monthly updates. Yeah. Well, that's nice. Anything else? Shop, shop. Refreshes. Okay, you guys can look at that. But that's the news. Okay, let's go. Let's go do stuff now.